One of my followers asked how I would go about creating a module for the ES8388 audio codec. I'll start by creating a new project and importing the ES8388. Then I'll just grab a couple of headphone jacks. This chip is capable of two inputs and two outputs, but for this example, I'm just going to use the two outputs. We can really find all the information we need in the datasheet. To connect the chip to the headphone jacks, we need a 47 microfarad capacitor and 10 ohm resistor on each output. If you're new to my channel, I design all of my PCBs using a new browser-based software called Flux. Subscribe to learn more about PCB design and how to use Flux. Next, we can work on the decoupling capacitors. Again, I'm just using the datasheet as a reference. Finally, I'll just add some terminals as a connection point outside of this circuit. You'll see what I mean later on in this video.
These three pins here allow us to communicate with a microcontroller or processor. Okay, now we can focus on the PCB layout. I do need to make this a little bigger to accommodate the terminals. Let's just change them to through-hole pads.
Rearranging the parts is one of the most important steps because it determines how difficult the trace routing will be. Decoupling capacitors should be as close to the codec chip as possible. Oops, I forgot to add the ground terminal. I'll just copy the layout rules to this pad.
probably should have done this earlier, but I need to change the layout to a two layer stack up. And our board is looking pretty good. Now that I have the design done, I'll just rename this and publish it to the library. This will allow us to pull this into any other project. To show you, I'll create a new project and filter by my components and drag it in. We can connect whatever we want as if it were a component of its own. Looking at the PCB layout, this module is all one piece. We can move it around as a whole. And that's how you create a module with the ES8388 audio codec. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one.